We're here sitting now outside a bar called Clancy's. This is located on Princess Street in Cork. It used to come before COVID to Cork once a year and you see a couple of new restaurants. It's been three years since I was back this time, but there's been really, really good dramatic changes in the city. This is one example of Princess Street. Made it into, and I, I did a little uh, walking video so you can see this really, really nice. All the bars dot along the street have these kind of outdoor seating areas and it's become essentially a pedestrian street. Cork is becoming more pedestrianized, more cycling friendly, and I think these are both really good trends here. The last day on YouTube, someone is asking me would I do a video about my Irish Jewish heritage. So I responded that I did a video before about what it's like being Irish and being Jewish. 30 second synopsis on that video, I don't think I'm really in the mood to do another one, is that um, I think Ireland and Cork was a great place to grow up, but the more I um, began connecting with my Judaism, my religion, and becoming more observant, it became less of a fit. And that's ultimately why I decided to go to Israel. I went to Israel for the first time when I was 16, and I've now been there for seven years. So that's the short version. It's not that uh, I really do. I think Cork's a great place. I love being back here. But for Jewish people, I think uh, there are better, more fulfilling communities and places in the world, including uh, Israel. So we're going to go to our third and potentially final stop of the night, a bar called Electric on the South Mall. One of the first bars that really uh, brought craft beer to Cork and I was just like in literally every single bar and despite the fact that it's October now it's uh, still pretty refreshing to sit outside here with a cold beamish or a cold cider. Good to see places like this are still going strong, gastro pubs in Cork. So one bar that's not going to feature my video because uh, we're not going to be in that part of town is a wonderful bar called the Castle Inn. I was there last night with my friends until the early hours of the morning. If you're looking for a bar in Cork that feels like a literally village Irish pub or what you might envision an Irish pub looking like, definitely check out the Castle Inn. Uh, there was a power shortage last night in Cork so we were just like drinking with candlelights for a few hours and when the power finally came back on it was a bittersweet moment because we were like it's great they couldn't pour pints without the power when it came back on it kind of disrupted the whole atmosphere so nice just drinking with some candle lights in the castle inn so if you're looking if that's the kind of pub you enjoy uh, that's my pub recommendation in Cork if you're looking for wine bars been to a good few ends tonight and if you're looking for a stout you can find it pretty much everywhere uh, Beamish is my uh, my top choice Final stop on our uh, quick uh, whistle stop tour of Cork bars. We're checking out a place called Calnan's on George's Key. For those looking for the traditional Irish pub, pub experience, two places uh, stand out. One of them is this place called Calnan's here on George's Key. So we're going to check out uh, Calnan's now and uh, and uh, wrap up our uh, Cork bar tour for the evening. 